Bro, longer than two. Up, Jake. You can see uh, double track now. Best I can do with the situation I got, really. But that's alright, you know. I would have preferred the tracks to be. Yeah. We're about to pull the other one by hand. So I might just do that if, I, if it gets on my nerves, but to be honest, you right? A bit of grass in between, and I think it should be alright. It looks alright down there. You know? Not wired up 100%, it's just a temporary thing, really. Um, show you down here. See the curves that I don't stay together, but that's you know that's because I'm using the same curves. This is all in here now. There's dowels to locate them in the correct position. There's four dowels, temporary supplies. That's one line. That's the other line. The other one. Points have been put in. I haven't put the isolation switches in yet. Um, you know, it's a temporary measure till, it, till it, it's going to go DCC, but I don't know when. It could be another another 12 months before it is. So you know, um, as long as you've got something running, that's the main thing. There's this platform going there. Uh, where the fuck can go? That. Oh, there's some new plans for this on this level now. I'll explain them all to you now in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to show you this. Where's the track gone? Oh, the track's gone. It's all gone. Use it down here. I needed the point, so I was going to... There's a couple of factors involved here. Um, basically, to run two old gauge layouts would have been just not cost effective. I would then, I would have to buy twice as many locomotives. And it's the price they had, I, I just can't do it. So, I had a little think yesterday and I said, well, how can we, how can we streamline this a bit better? And I've decided now, I, what I needed the points basically, or oh, it was 300 quid. And I thought, well, nah, I'm going to just whip the points from up here and the track, and we'll, we'll do this. We'll double, you know, have a double thing down here. So it's not a problem though, because if you look closely, what will you see up there now? The double O stuff's back. The double O. Well, it's. I decided to put the zone <laughs> I know it's in one minute, don't the next minute, up here, zone there, shake it all about. But anyway, it's double O gauge going to go up there now. Basically because I've got over 70 lengths of track that was going to stick on eBay. And I thought, well, let me just keep it. i got 32 points, turnouts, points, whatever you want to. Uh, so i got them. i got curves. I need them. I thought, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So, I'm going to double track this loop in, in double O. Just going to have a double track coming all the way around. Um, and it will go. Double track it all, all the way around. Shove it straight down to the DCC, don't mess around. And um, the only problem is I haven't got any locomotives. I sold them. But that's not a problem either because I'm thinking of going uh, steam. Ever since I've had this pannier tank, it's really opened my eyes into the world of steam. I mean, and when it's got sound, there'll be another thing, you know? And I thought, well, I'm fed up my modern image all the time. You know, you're ending up, you're just chasing money with these new manufacturers, they're charging fortunes for these wagons and everything I thought let's do the sensible thing let's go back to the 1960s like we're doing down here 
Let's go back to the Lincoln Cities up there. And we're going to go steam and green diesel as well up here. So I can sort of, so the two layouts to sort of match each other, I thought. I don't know, give me a, give me a thought on that. But look, there's plenty of track there. The next plan down here is to put an elevated line um, with like a horseshoe at the moment with a halt up here somewhere then the line going across, crossing the lines by there then crossing back over up by here and at high level coming around there four, well, four inches high, four and a quarter coming round there, round, round, round round there, either a halt going in there or I'll carry on even further and shove one up there and stick it on the shuttle one shuttle so I thought yeah come on let's go for that so um, that's what I'm doing for the moment anyway um, I'd say I think it's turned out okay it's all on DC at the moment I've got two controllers doing separate tracks i got to have that two, uh, two amp thing for the, the high mech like the, the smaller the, the O8 and the tiny I run off, off one amp so you know I'm happy with this now you know I've got 1960s down here and I'm thinking of doing the same up there now maybe maybe slightly later maybe I'll introduce a little bit of blue up there but I don't want any modern image stuff up there I had all modern image before, EWS, Arriva, Train, I don't want any of that. I'm going back, I'm going back to what I can remember. These modern image trains don't really do it for me, you know? They all look the same to me. I want some much westerns and warships and IMAX and stuff like that. That's what we're the past 20s. You know, 25s, you're rats. I'm going on arrow, me. Anyway, I don't know when that's going to start. I got enough to do down here at the moment. The other thing is I thought, of course, while I'm plodding along with this, and to save me rushing out to buy locomotives, because I've got three. I've got, I don't forget, I've got the O8 as well. When I get the uh, switches put in, I'll, I'll have her down here as well. When I do the switches tomorrow, so I can isolate these sidings here. Um, yeah, so, yeah. We've got all this room here, because it'll work in. Big massive expanse there um, to do whatever. But well, there'll be a maintenance shed probably. I was thinking of us having this as a key wall along here, the dock side sort of thing, and having a scrap off and coal and stuff like that. Going, going back, you know what I mean? What well, oh, people used to do things for 50 years ago. That's where I'm going with this. So there we are, I'll leave you with the trains and have a think. I'm thinking all the time, as you can see. Too much thinking, perhaps. Change the points, I think. Yeah. So that'll probably stay scenic there. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this. I am being looking forward to it all the time. It's just I've been changing things all the time. I've got to settle with a plan. And I'm really, this is growing on me, this plan. Really growing on me now. Nice little platform there. With all lights, buildings, people. I'll probably jam another side in down at down here somewhere. You know. We'll have side ins over here. Good. Up here we we'll have all sorts of action going on up there. I got all the stuff, but I'm too busy with you. So I'll have to wait. As you can see there's a couple of little uh, a couple of little deviates in the track, especially by here. I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of that tomorrow. There's a lump of I think it's the ballast and rubbish there it is. Okay, that out tomorrow. I was just in a, such a thing today to get a track down. I knew it was all uneven, but yeah, that I'll jam it down and go through it again. So we might have to whip that section out and give it a cleaner. So uh, we'll sort that. Everywhere else isn't too bad. 
it's only up by here, there's a little anomaly on both tracks. See that one, there's a little bit of a, something going on there, and the same on the other one. So, everything else is running pretty nice. I can't see any um, other scenes anywhere else. So I'm happy with this. Long Dyke Junction. I don't know what I'm going to call this one up here. I think the new name is in order. I'll catch you again. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and all that. Comments, great, keep them coming. Bye.